Hey everybody, today I'm showing you three of the coolest Tesla coils money can buy, at least in my opinion. The ones that are in a reasonable range and safe to use. You can use them in a room. There are some large ones that you cannot use in a room if you have other electronics. These, even though they interfere a little bit, if you're close by, they are in general safe. This is a Tesla coil gun. This is the last generation as far as I know. It has this cool handle. You attach that there. It has adjustable power frequency. You have this knob. It has a battery, you press this to activate it. The batteries are replaceable, which is nice. This is, as the name says, Tesla Coil 10. I've covered this in the past. It's a Bluetooth music Tesla Coil, the largest version that I could find. You just attach the discharge needle, which you have here, and you're ready to go. Both of these you can touch. This one you can. This has a 30 centimeter arc. It has these two poles that you have to attach here. And this unit controls the frequency power. You have these knobs. This is a 220 volts version. This works both with 110 and 220. And this is just battery power, so it doesn't matter. One difference is this has a Bluetooth connection and this has a 3.5 millimeter connection. This is pretty slick. It's max you can get. You see the music mode is down there and this is the heat sink. So everything is in there and just attach it with this. I just have to screw that in. Goes there. You can even do it with one hand. So it's really that simple. There we go. When you turn it on, it shows you the voltage and then you can just shoot lightning. This is how you adjust the frequency, power, you push those buttons. So now I have this, I turn it on. You can see this is the power. It is safe. See, it lights up all these things. I can make this automatic. I can push this. Change the power level. I push that. So that's how it works. This is even better in the dark. You see, even without hitting that, it still lights up. It will light up. This is pretty slick. It's, let's get the size. You have this at the bottom for heat dissipation. Also, you get these accessories. Now, the first time I got this, I was kind of surprised. Just got one of these, I thought, what the heck, how do you use this without an adapter? But the thing is, it has everything that you need inside of it, so you don't need an adapter, you just need a power source. This is your discharge needle, you just, before getting it started, you put that in there, and then I'll just attach it to a power source. I'm gonna go here. So that's how it works. It is pretty loud and impressive. It's one of the most impressive ones you can buy. If you have to buy one of them that is safe and also impressive, this fits the bill. Now Tesla coils are not designed to be used for prolonged sessions. You have to give them some break. you're wondering this is a neon scepter now it's connected to my Tesla coil 10 max you see it doesn't work as well with the podcast but this you have to attach these poles just make sure that you do so when 
it's not connected or anything. This is not advertised as being safe to touch. I never bothered doing it anyway. It really has an impressive arc. Make sure that it's pointing that way so the connection between the two poles can be made. This is where you insert and connect that box, the control box through this interface. In the back, the whole, not a whole lot is going on. It's just the fans you see. These are the fans that keep it cool. This is a serious Tesla coil. So it's not something that you should treat as a toy. Put this in there. Now that it's secured, it's ready to go. We're going to need connection from this side as well. It requires to be connected to a USB port. As you see, even from a distance like this, it still turns it on, so it has a very good range. This is the range. We also have adjustable frequency and power. This Tesla coil requires a wired connection. For that, I'm going to have to use one of these. Three and a half millimeter audio adapter. So this goes here and the other side goes there. You see it right there. So I use that Belkin adapter. It goes to this Tesla coil. Now that I've connected, one thing I would say is this thing is pretty loud. So it's very impressive. That's about it. Three cool Tesla coils, two of them music. This is Bluetooth. That has the handhold Tesla coil gun. If I had to choose again, three Tesla coils to buy, I would buy these three. Maybe we'll see another version of this in the future. I have a larger version that's a little bit old, but it's a 100,000 volt Tesla coil gun. That's not safe to touch. For more information, please go to gadgetify.com. I'm going to include a link in the description. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe. That really helps the channel a lot. Thanks for watching.